Hi, this is Stacia, and I wanted to show another um, game and continue my miniature series. And this one is particularly um, violent <laughs> and only nine moves long, so definitely fits the uh, miniature criteria of under 25 moves. And um, it's also a bit embarrassing for me, but... Um, that's okay. I'm learning new openings and <laughs> so you'll see what I mean shortly. Okay, so this was a King's Gambit with the move F4. And my opponent accepted the Gambit. This was a Blitz game, by the way. Um, three minutes with two second increment. And here I played Knight F3. I like to stop the, uh, the check on H4. And my opponent went with g5 here. So this is the main line of the King's Gambit, the idea being to hold on to this pawn and build a build a pawn chain here. So the, the main move here is to thrust with h4, undermining um, immediately. So I played that. And now my opponent did uh, g takes h4. Very strange move. I haven't seen this move before. And so I think I wrongly was like, oh, I want to punish this move. This pawn chain or this pawn structure is very interesting, by the way. Some of the pawn structures that come out of the King's Gambit are very interesting, <laughs> like this one. All right. And um, so black is two pawns up. And I was like, well, I'm going to recapture with my knight. And then that will allow my queen to come out to h5 at the right moment. So that's what I was thinking. I also thought this will open my rook up. And although, although those things are true, um, I broke principle here. Because in the opening, you should just develop, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, the best, the best move is probably d4. Computers also makes a case for knight c3. Fair enough. Um, I think if I go d4, these pawns will be weak forever. I'll always be able to target these pawns, including this one. So I don't know that I need to recapture immediately. d4, opening up the bishop, is definitely the right way to go. Okay, but in the game, I made my first mistake, and I, um, without much thought, took this pawn. So, okay. Um... And the knight's threatening to come to f5, so that's good. But I really think d4 was better. And then my opponent played bishop e7. And, yeah, I didn't consider this move. Now my knight is under attack. And um, I really want to develop, not move my knight again. <laughs> so I actually think it's okay to just retreat the knight to f3 and then prioritize development from there. Maybe even knight f5, because um, this is a situation where there are no pawns to kick the knight. So that's kind of a nice scenario, although he will be under attack um, as soon as black play is like d5. So probably knight f3 is best. And um, that's not what I did, though. So, huge mistake here. I play queen g4. So, defending the knight, and I thought maybe this would be useful. But this is a bad move, um, because now the bishop is lined up with my queen, and I'm going to have to move the queen again. Okay, and sure enough, my opponent did play d5. I guess even here... I should take the pawn. <laughs> I didn't consider this because I really want my bishop on f4. So I saw a more aggressive move here. And it's a king's gambit, so why not? <laughs> and I went queen g7. Attacking the rook in the corner. Even if the knight moves, I can take with check. There is no defense along the back rank. And, um... But this is the losing move. <laughs> and so, if you'd like to pause your video 
and figure out how the game continued and ended, go ahead and do so now. So the problem with this move is bishop takes h4, does come with check on my king. And if I take back with a rook, then the queen will take with check again. And it's hard to know what to do with my king. I think I'm just in big trouble here. I mean, um, the problem is the bishop is coming out, so it's like, I can't really hide on these light squares, <laughs> you know? And I can't really hide on this dark square. So I think my king is just in huge trouble. Like, computer's giving g3, which, uh, this is horrible, right? I mean, I'm going to get killed here. Bishop g2, queen h2. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this, yeah, this is completely lost. And, um, so, okay. It went d5, queen g7. So I realized that um, after this, I probably shouldn't take with the rook because of that line I just showed. And instead, I decided to move my king here. But yeah, this is just bad. I went king e2, but again, I think um, the bishop coming here is a huge threat. And now my queen is kind of like assigned to defending that square. And so... I can't really take the rook. So she's kind of like overloaded in a weird way because I really need to take the rook just to get material back. But I really can't do that. So king e2, and I really like this move by my opponent, bishop f6. Tempo move. Um, I did not see this. I missed this move. And surprisingly, my queen is trapped. So... Um, I can't take the rook now. The bishop has an x-ray defense. I can't take the knight. It's defended. I can't take the pawn. It's defended. Can't take this pawn. Can't take the bishop. It's defended many times. Well, twice. And everything along the g-file is covered. This is covered by the pawns. This is covered by the bishop. This is covered by the other bishop. And this is covered by this annoying f-pawn, which I should have taken earlier. <laughs> so here I had to... Um, well, I think I played this, but yeah, you just took it. <laughs> so yeah, pretty embarrassing game and a pretty violent game, but important to learn from these. And let's let's just identify a couple key moments here. So how can I play better? I think it's pretty simple, really. Um, against this strange move, if I see this again, next time I will prioritize development with the move d4 or even knight c3. And I'll worry about capturing the pawns later. Because knight taking is still okay, but it just seems like a risky, unnecessarily risky way to play. Like, I'm playing a gambit, so why am I trying to get pawns? <laughs> right? Bishop b7, I should watch out for that move in the future. Yeah, and um, Stacia, do not put your queen on g4. It's just lined right up with the bishop. So this is clearly just inaccurate. I mean, surprisingly, the computer actually says I can take here on f4. And position's only slightly better for black, which is kind of normal in the king's gambit. So this might be an actual way to play. And like knight c6 is given, and... Wow, it wants to take here. This looks really... um. Oh, because I have bishop c4. So that's really cool. Um, queen e5 check. That forces a queen trade. Yeah, so actually, um, I hadn't played the losing move yet, but in a real game, I would need to see that this is where it would head, and I did not see these moves. Instead, I played queen g7. Which, this is the losing move, because my queen is just very misplaced and overloaded here. This comes with check. My king has no good squares at all. Like I was saying, I don't want to allow this kind of thing. 
<laughs> this is very bad. So king e2, but that's really just no good. Bishop f6. And my queen is trapped. And that was the game. So, well, I hope that you enjoyed this and learned something from it as I did. Um, I do feel that this is where blitz is really helpful um, because I would not want to go into anything like this in a real tournament game. Um, I'm not sure I would, but it's just good to review ideas like this so that I'm familiar with them. All right. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.